UAO, UAW-owned Chrysler, secured bondholder proposals, increased income taxes by 7%, used $313 billion from Medicare, which is already underfunded, Rob Peter to pay Paul, dictate services from age 65 and over, you can forget about your golden years, abolish the tax write-off for the employer, tax your employer benefit as income, Cap the itemized deductions on those making over 250000 There are not enough people anymore making over 250000 Pay for doctors' education to soften the blow for the shrinkage in their income. Slow funding for new technology. Institute an electronic system between the physician and the government. The physician sends your electronic health record to Washington, and Washington sends your plan of treatment back. What are free market solutions? Allow all medical deductibles, premiums, and expenditures to be 100% tax deductible. Yeah! This would allow financial consumer relief and allow the power and decision making to stay in the hands of the healthcare consumer and their physician. Insurance co-ops need to be aggrandized where hundreds of similar types of businesses and professions can cross state lines to have more purchasing power. Hospitals, which are already in the business of health care, could become many insurers and offer an array of inexpensive service policies. President Obama wants to increase the income tax rate from 28% to 40%. We say lower the income tax rate so that American business owners and investors are confident enough to invest in America. This is the only way to create jobs and sustain a growing economy. Now I'll just ask Japan. Do not increase the corporate income tax rate by 25%. We say lower it to 12.5% like Ireland's. Yeah. President Obama wants to double the capital gains tax. Lower the capital gains tax to create confidence in the U.S. economy. The trillions will start to flow. There are over 200 million citizens all striving to reach the American dream. Free enterprise. I can't do it all. I want an America that understands a free democracy gives them a right to vote. One time, but with that right comes a responsibility to know what you are voting for. Americans did not do their homework on this administration. The good news is that we are a resilient people and eventually we learn from our mistakes. 2010 will be different. My challenge to every one of you honorable patriots from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed and the next election drag four newly educated people to the ballot box that would not normally be there. We call this T-corn. Taxed enough already coming out for redress now. <laughs> Finally, our ancestors understood the principles that have made this nation the greatest nation of all time. It is the nation that always gives. It is the nation that has every other nation's back. It was the nation that recognized evil when it saw it. Do not let any president or any government tell you that America is less than or equal to any other. Never! Our ancestors that built this country understood that when we elevate the corrupt, the irresponsible, the non-producers to the top of the food chain, the whole system fails. Change is coming, ever growing, bubbling up from the greatest force in this great nation. We, the people. Second, we're going to thank your ancestors for creating and keeping this wonderful nation. Well, third, it's our duty to keep this nation the way they found the fathers, created for you and for me. I have to tell you, uh, usually I have teleprompters. Not today. I, I heard that the, the, the media was going to be here. Uh, the mainstream media. Uh, last time uh, in the elections, one of the medias wanted to find out uh, negative stuff about me. And uh, he asked me, how do you came to America, Tito? And I said, I came with Braniff. 
and then um, two weeks two weeks later, I was uh, the guy was looking for a coyote named Branif. He didn't know that that was an airline. Anyway, I I'm gonna tell you, this nation is changing, and I have seen that movie before.